Welcome to How Things Started, where we delve into the fascinating origins of some of the world's most influential inventions and ideas. Join us as we uncover the stories and events that shaped our world today. Welcome to How Things Started. Did you know that the Earth experiences approximately 500 to 600 significant earthquakes each day? With seismic activity being a common occurrence, it's no surprise that the study of earthquakes and their impact on the world has become an important field of research. That's why today's video is all about one of the most influential discoveries in seismology, the Richter scale. Developed by Charles Francis Richter, the Richter scale has revolutionized our understanding of earthquakes and their impact. Get ready to learn how this simple yet powerful tool has transformed the way we study and prepare for earthquakes, saving countless lives and minimizing damage. From building codes to disaster relief efforts, the Richter scale has had a profound impact on the world as we know it. So sit back, grab a notebook, and let's go back in time to uncover the fascinating history of the Richter scale. Once upon a time, in the year 1900, a boy was born in Hamilton, Ohio with a passion for science, music, and jazz. His name was Charles F. Richter and he would grow up to become one of the most influential seismologists of the 20th century. Charles was a natural talent, excelling in his studies and even mastering the piano. He pursued his love of science by obtaining a Ph.D. in physics from the University of California, Berkeley, and later, landing a job at the prestigious California Institute of Technology, Caltech, in Pasadena, California. At Caltech, Charles worked alongside his colleague, Dino Gutenberg, and the two of them embarked on a mission to improve the accuracy of measuring earthquakes. They found that the existing method of measurement was subjective and inconsistent, and decided to develop a new and more accurate system. They spent years studying seismic data, analyzing the wave patterns of earthquakes, and developing mathematical models to describe the relationship between the wave patterns and the size of earthquakes. Finally, in 1935, they unveiled their masterpiece, the Richter Magnitude Scale. The Richter Magnitude Scale was a logarithmic scale that measured the magnitude, or size, of an earthquake based on the amplitude of the seismic waves it produced. The scale used a logarithmic formula to convert the amplitudes of the seismic waves into a single number, with each unit increase on the scale representing a tenfold increase in wave amplitude. For example, an earthquake with a magnitude of 4.0 produces seismic waves that are 10 times larger than those produced by an earthquake with a magnitude of 3.0. An earthquake with a magnitude of 5.0 produces seismic waves that are 100 times larger than those produced by an earthquake with a magnitude of 3.0. The Richter magnitude scale ranged from 0 to 9, with 9 being the largest magnitude possible. Although, this logarithmic relationship means that there is no theoretical upper limit to the magnitude that can be measured on the Richter scale. The Richter magnitude scale quickly became the standard method for measuring earthquakes around the world and even today, it remains one of the most important tools for seismologists and geologists. The scale has been used to track the largest earthquakes in recorded history, including the massive 9.5 magnitude earthquake that struck Chile in 1960, the 9.2 magnitude earthquake that hit Alaska in 1964, and the 9.1 magnitude earthquake that struck Indonesia in 2004. Charles was a meticulous and careful scientist, but he was also known for his warm sense of humor and engaging personality. He was beloved by his colleagues and students at Caltech, who were inspired by his passion for both science and music. He was even awarded the National Medal of Science in 1963, a testament to his numerous contributions to the field of seismology. Despite his numerous accolades, Charles never won the Nobel Prize, a fact that many believe is due to the Nobel Prize Committee's policy at the time of not awarding prizes for work in the field of geology. Nevertheless, Charles's legacy lives on, and his Richter magnitude scale remains one of the most important tools in the field of seismology. The Richter magnitude scale has had a profound impact on our understanding of earthquakes and their impact on the world. It has been used to develop building codes and earthquake-resistant structures, reducing the damage and loss of life caused by earthquakes. Seismologists have used it to analyze the data from earthquakes and study their characteristics and causes, leading to a deeper understanding of the processes that trigger earthquakes. Charles passed away in 1985 at the age of 84, but his legacy lives on. 
The Richter magnitude scale is a testament to his vision and creativity and it continues to be a crucial tool for seismologists and geologists around the world, helping to reduce the risk of damage and loss of life from earthquakes. So, the next time you hear about an earthquake, think of Charles F. Richter and his passion for science, music, and jazz, and the incredible contribution he made to our understanding of one of the most powerful forces of nature. Charles's scale has saved countless lives and will continue to be a valuable tool. And that's a wrap on today's video about the Richter scale. We hope you enjoyed learning about the history and impact of this important seismic measurement tool. This scale has revolutionized our understanding of earthquakes and their effects, and continues to play a crucial role in seismology and disaster mitigation. If you liked this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more informative and interesting content. Thank you for watching.